Sports, a sports show that is dedicated to Seattle sports fans. My name is Dave. This is Kevin. And you are now entering the bliss of Seahawks Weekly. For all those guys that have not broken their legs, jumping off the bandwagon, welcome in. We are so happy to have you. All right, Kevin. While we're talking about breaking legs and jumping off bandwagons, one of the reasons that people are doing that is because we're losing players. And Kevin, there is a huge debate brewing out there right now in, in Seahawk land that we could lose another star player. And, and there is reasons that we keep him. There's reasons that we should trade him. Uh, being objective and looking at it as a business, it makes total sense. But looking at it with my heart, I don't want to see Seattle give up on this player. However, simple fact is, is that you want to, if you want to use whatever reworld you want to use, whether it's rework, retool, rebuild, re anything, you know, whatever, we are in a mode that is not particularly going to take us to the Super Bowl this year. Would you agree with that, Kevin? Nope. Nope. Kevin is still on board. We could be I, on. I'm on that train. Woo. Our, I, so, I, while we fit Kevin for a padded room, <laughs> forget the rebuild, baby. I'm competing. We're going to the playoffs. Okay. Well, Kevin is, is drinking that Kool Aid, and I'm not drinking it with him. So, DK Metcalf, Kevin, mm -hmm. I'm on the I'm on the side that says we should trade him. Kevin, you are on the side that thinks that we should keep him. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to give you my reasons why we should trade him, and then you can follow that up to make things interesting. I'll give you my Stephen A. Smith. You can be whoever sits across from him at right now. I think it's Michael the Irvin. However, so this is it, what I do for this, this year. Kevin, we are going to get a haul for him. We're going to get a first. We're going to get – we could possibly get a second. I mean, if you just look at what the, the Miami Dolphins gave up to get Tyree Kill, they gave up uh, – got a first, a second – Two fourths and a fifth. Yep. Okay. That is a lot of draft capital for one player. Okay. Yep. And he's not even close to his prime as as DK is. DK right now is on a rookie contract, but he is going to be looking to get paid. $25 million is the floor. Kevin, I, I just just don't see we're having the subpar quarterback play or maybe drew lock comes in and surprises us all and has a great season but the simple fact is kevin i the, we are pretty much looking at he could have some erratic play and i think you're at that point you you would be wasting 25 million dollars that could be going to a defensive lineman that could be going to another running back Whatever the case may be, the simple fact is, Kevin, we have the ability to bring in draft capital for the future mm -hmm. so that we can rebuild this the right way. Now, I tell you, if you look at the Seattle Mariners right now, they had they they went through these retooling, okay, where they brought in Cano and they brought in, you know, whoever, and they kind of patchwork made it, and it never worked. You had to tear it down to the studs, and you had to build from the bottom, and now they have the number one farm, uh, farm system in all of Major League Baseball. That's what you have to do for the Seattle Seahawks. You have to tear it all down and then get the number one draft pick next season when there's quarterbacks in the draft, and that's how you build it. To me, it makes sense. It's not with my heart. I love DK. I love the binky. But I really honestly think that we get the draft capital and we move on from him and we put that $25 million towards something else. Kevin, you, and I've said a lot. Now go ahead and rebuttal. As a lifelong Seahawk fan who – in the last 10 years, one of our biggest gripes and one of Pete Carroll's biggest gripes since he's been here is having that number one receiver, the big tall guy that will go up and get it in the middle and come down with the ball. I mean, we tried out Mike Williams. We've tried out Terrell Owens. I mean, we've tried out some tall receivers to fit that bill. And DK is that guy. He is that number one receiver that will go up, get the ball, who's physical. And so you build a team around him. And, you know, I get it. I mean, when, when Russell was on his rookie contract, we didn't have that number one receiver. We had some good receivers. Dougie B was one of my favorite receivers. 
but we never had an elite receiver at that point. We had Dougie B and a couple other guys. So I think that if we could build a team around DK, I, I mean, it's not, that's a lot of money to pay a receiver. I get it. But at the same point, if we had a good running team, we had a great defense and we had a quarterback who didn't make mistakes, who would throw the ball when he's supposed to, who would, you know, do what he needs to be done and keep the ball secure, not throw it away, not cook, whatever you want to call it. I'm saying if we had that one receiver who could stand in the end zone and go up for the ball or, you know, in a challenge play, come down with the ball, that would make a huge difference. Everybody keeps talking. We're in a rebuild. We're in a rebuild. I, I don't, I mean, you, we're, we're going to call going to the Super Bowl a rebuild. I mean, at that point we rebuilt. I mean, we had all young guys. What is the difference? If we can go to the Super Bowl with a young quarterback, young players, why can't we do it again? And why do everybody say we're not even going to make the playoffs? We're totally rebuilding. We might as well just tear it all down. I totally disagree with that. And that's where I'm going to stop. So let me ask you this, Kevin. Okay. Did we have a tall, a tall um, receiver when we went to the Super Bowl the last time? No. Okay. We won the Super Bowl. In fact, we won the Super Bowl going away because we built a defense that was unformidable. We had an legendary. Electric, we had an electric wide receiver who returned a kickoff, if I remember, to start the second half. So one year, he was. Yeah, it, but okay, Percy Harvin, he was not a great receiver. In his prime, <laughs> he was a great receiver, and he was electric. But. For Seattle, he wasn't. You're right. He, he wasn't. Simple fact is, Kevin, we can sit here and debate about this all day long. But you know what we want to do? We want to hear from you guys, the fans. If you think DK should stay and you agree with Kevin, make sure you drop that in the comment section. If you're like me, that is thinking with your mind and not your heart, man, go ahead and put that in, this, in the comment section down below. You know, I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot of angry uh a lot of angry responses down below. All right, Kevin. So with that being said, we did sign a couple players this week. One guy we brought back that I've got much love for. And the other guy is brand new that's going to be pushing Cody Barton. Kevin, who did we bring back? Well, we brought back Justin Coleman, uh, the cornerback, um, on a one-year deal. Yeah, he was a great player when he left. He fit this team very, very well. And if I remember right, he played pretty much nickel the entire time he was here. Did a great job for us. And it, it's going to be fun to have him back. Yes. Okay. And then our the new linebacker? Well, we got a signed linebacker, Joel Iyebuniwe. Oh, boy. He, go, he That's goes a by twister. Iggy. So we're going to call him Iggy. All right. Um, he actually was with the Bears last year, linebacker. Uh, really a standout special teams player. I know he wants to compete. He wants to make a run for Bobby's position or, you know, st starting. But somebody, in my opinion, is really going to have to compete against um, Cody Barton. And, you know, the best player wins. And, you know, somebody might have to replace Cody Barton on special teams. So there we go. Um, the last thing that, that again, we, we have another disagreement about – uh, and, and you kind of did a little research. Mike Salkoff put out an uh, article on 710 ESPN about the merits of one Colin Kaepernick, whether or not the Seahawks should bring him into camp and let them uh, let him compete to see if he can get on the field this year. This kind of goes with me hand in hand. I, I've been, been in favor of it. First of all, you know, the guy, the guy made a, a political stand now, you look around the league, you look at a lot of the players that have done egregious things, whether that's beating women, child abusers, whatever. And these guys are still playing on their teams and being able to collect a check. Now, I'm a veteran, okay, and I believe that I went to... Uh, I, I went into the military and I served my country, and I believe that I fought that everybody has a right to, to feel however they want to and protest however they want to. Am I going to agree with it? Am I going to like it? No. 
But the simple fact is, is that I still believe that everybody has that right. And, and he does not, he should not be blackballed from the league at this point in time. But, and he, and it, it, no matter what you want to say, okay, I'm, I, you look around the league at, at the, at the quarterbacks that are backing up court, uh, the quarter, the starting quarterbacks right now, you can't tell me that there are better quarterbacks that are backing up other players than Colin Kaepernick. You look around the the guys that are back, and heck, look, let's look at some of the guys that are starting this, this for teams. I think Colin Kaepernick is as good, you know, whether he is he's inaccurate or not. You know, would would you have rather have Daniel Jones or would you rather have Colin Kaepernick? Well, I mean, you want my opinion? I'm going to tell you my opinion. <laughs> I do. I I do agree with what Mike Salk was saying. I mean, he basically lined out six uh, reasons that the Hawks should give him a a chance to try out. One, Seahawks don't have a franchise quarterback, 100%. We just traded away Russell Wilson. And so we have competition. I mean, that's what they're always pushing, competition. Second, it fits with competing every day. And I 100% agree with them. If you're going to preach, compete, 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 then why not bring him in? Thirdly, um, it could potentially improve the Hawks' uh, reputation among existing NFL players in the league currently. Right. I agree with that statement. And I also, the last one I agree with with Mike is what's the downside? Now, my opinion on Colin Kaepernick has, as far as the political stuff goes, I mean, that's everybody has their opinion. I agree with that. Some of the stuff he said is just ridiculous with comparing NFL owners to slave owners. I mean, it's just some of the stupid things that come out of the guy's mouth is just like unbelievable. But let's get down to playing football. This guy is an amazing athlete, amazing athlete. He is tall. He's solid. He is a runner. Always Every time he took off out of the pocket, he scared the crap out of me when we took off. He's mm-hmm. just that amazing of a ball player. However, the one thing that I have a knock on him is he is not accurate. He doesn't have a great arm. And I just don't think that he is, is a starting a backup quarterback. A hundred percent. Yes. A starting quarterback. I don't like it. But as far as bringing him in to compete and try it out, I'm 100% behind that. Now, one of the things that we and I both already kind of said is going to happen for the Seattle Seahawks this year, they're going to be a running team. They're going to run the football. Yep. That's, why you, that's why you sign Will Disley, okay? Yep. Mm-hmm. Because they're going to be a running team. And I think that with a running team, having a running quarterback, somebody that, can, that yeah. gives a read option, Kevin – Te- real teeth that in the fact that that guy could take off and run i think that that could give us a dynamic right now that is going to be huge well, which is true but if you can't throw the ball then you don't really have the read option i mean you just have a running attack i mean so i i mean i don't know i've seen his i've seen his workouts they i mean I, i'm not overly impressed but you know who am i i'm i'm just a fan that I never thought he was that great of a quarterback the whole time he was in San Francisco, but every time he took off running, it scared me. So I do think he's an amazing athlete. I think he, you know, really wants to still play football, obviously keeping in shape as long as he has, you got it hats off to the guy, but I'm just not a fan because I don't think he's quality arm. Well, Kevin, I, I think that that he's not far off from Lamar Jackson. And that's all I, I think that, that Baltimore has been very successful that way. And I think if we muddy it up and we muck it up and, and uh, you know, we might be able to squeeze some, some juice out of that lemon. That's all I'm having to say. So here's my question. Would you rather have Geno or Colin? Because they're kind of the same quarterback. I don't oh, my think- gosh, no. I, I don't Gino, Gino can't run like Colin Kaepernick. And he can't throw. He's just as bad throwing as Ka- Kaepernick. I, yeah, but he gives it another dynamic. On Gino. I don't want Gino back. I don't really want Colin. I mean, I, I want either – I wouldn't mind seeing maybe Baker come to town. I wouldn't mind seeing a, another draft pick. I wouldn't mind seeing 
Gardner in, in Seattle. So I'm okay with bringing in other quarterbacks to compete. I just, I want a guy that can throw the ball with some accuracy and can escape every once in a while. And a tall guy, Colin fits that. So, well, enough with our chatter, Kevin. If you have an opinion on Colin Kaepernick or another quarterback you think that we should sign, make sure you drop that in the comments down below. And guys, give us thumbs up. Give us thumbs down. Make sure that you're let, giving your opinion on how we're doing. And make sure that you guys subscribe. Turn those notification bells on. Good golly, we need that support from you guys. As always, we got two words for him, Kevin. What are they? Go Hawks. All right, man. Peace out. See you next week, brother.